You are watching a heart transplant at Baylor University Medical Center at Dallas, the largest program by volume in Texas and the second largest in the country. Trenton Carey is only 19 years old and he's being transplanted for the second time in his young life. His story is remarkable, as is the care provided at one of the premier transplant centers in the nation. Imagine that your heart is failing, but you are not eligible for transplant because you've had cancer. This is the life or death dilemma that Trenton faced in May of 2013. Obviously the big concern was that he had had lymphoma in less than five years. And the concern was, was this a transplant related lymphoma or a traditional lymphoma? Was this kid just unlucky? The American Society of Transplantation publishes recommendations to guide healthcare providers about which patients should be considered for transplantation. Anyone with cancer within five years could prevent eligibility to be listed on UNOS, the United Network for Organ Sharing. Cancer free for two years, Trenton Carey's life hung in the balance. It was a little frustrating, so it's kind of like throwing that fishing net and just covering as wide of a range as they can. I will do everything humanly possible to transplant you. What are we doing? We push the envelope. There's people that came in from other centers that were deemed untransplantable, and we transplanted them. I take pride in that. From the waist up, he looked pretty darn good. We do a number of evaluations to make sure that the patient's a good candidate. Right. The case gets presented to a transplant selection committee, and that's composed of about 20 individuals that review the case and give their opinions as to whether the patient would be a good candidate to be transplanted or not. We had our oncologist review all their records, and he'd been lymphoma-free for two or three years, and so but to combine that with his youth and his health, we felt that it was an acceptable risk. Every year, there are approximately 2,200 heart transplants performed in the United States. In two years, Baylor University Medical Center has performed over 170 heart transplants, second most in the U.S. The national average wait time is 108 days. So what are the average waits now here in, in, in your program? Today, ours is still running about a mean of seven days. That's incredible. It is incredible. One day after being listed, Baylor's organ procurement team flew 800 miles to harvest a heart for Trenton. It was unbelievable it could have happened that fast. It was answered prayer. The organ procurement team traveled 1,600 miles round trip to deliver the organ to Baylor's transplantation team, headed by Dr. Gonzalez. Dr. Hall provided commentary during the transplant. Right now, they're just trying to get warm blood through it and have it electrically beat. So it very easily came off bypass. Now they'll watch the heart for a few minutes and make The actual transplant procedure required 37 minutes. And four hours after the organ was harvested, the organ was beating again. Our outcomes are superb. They're probably some of the best in the nation. We're very serious about it. And when you are on our list, we will transplant you. Without Baylor, I don't know what would have happened. They looked at Trenton as an individual and gave him a chance. And they were the only ones that would give him a chance. Trenton Carey returned to college following his transplant, and many more patients are discovering the advantages of the heart transplantation program at Baylor University Medical Center, including these patient-centered advantages, short wait times for evaluation, and transplant surgery with testing and physician evaluations completed within one week to determine if transplant is viable. Outreach clinic locations throughout Texas with convenient services through Center for Advanced Heart and Lung Disease, ECMO offering life-saving access both inside and outside DFW. Baylor University Medical Center is one of only two centers in the nation that performs more than 75 heart transplants in a year with a designated team of physicians for heart transplant. Our point is to get you back into your life, whether that is school, whether that is a work, or whether that's just playing with your grandkids and getting to travel and have dinner with your wife. We want to get them back to living their lives.